rather than a normal mailbag where we uh, open all these up and pretty much do nothing with them, I'm going to open these up one at a time. So they'll go back into the box and then we'll open them up and we'll do something with them straight away. It is Dirty Dozen time again. Number four, I want to say. Um, oh, can't tell anything about this one. Let's uh, let's break in and see what we can see. This should just open up. Oh, I have a lot of trouble with these ziplocky things. There we go. The slide has worked. So that's got with some more bits and pieces in here. What is that? A camera? Yeah, a little tiny camera. Interesting. A uh, couple of uh, male headers to solder up, I guess, on this one. Oh, that is a big, big chip. Uh, let's get a little bit closer to this and find out what it is. Cool. That monster chip in there looks like it's an Air 105. Um, so, yeah, look at all those pins. Wow, that is... Um, that's amazing. So it's in a sort of nano form factor, but very different, I suspect, to the nano in a number of ways. Um, I'll put some specs up here, but from memory, I think it's somewhere around, uh, is it over 200 megahertz? As opposed to, what is it, 16 megahertz for a standard nano? And I think it's uh, four megabytes of flash instead of what is it 32k uh for the nano uh, of which i think 2k a bootloader anyway and ram 640k as opposed to uh 2k so more like your um avr 128a that i was fiddling around with a couple of years ago big chip with uh with big specs and uh, I am very much attracted to the, uh, you know, <laughs> forbidden tech, the Chinese forbidden tech, uh, because of all the different bits and pieces that, um, that they do. They're just so good. This one obviously has the extra camera uh, that it can stick on there. And some other bits and pieces here as well. Not quite sure what that is. Looks like an on-off slidey switch, but for what, I don't know. I think the big thing about this is that it's supposedly compatible with the STM32. So I suppose the first thing is, can we hook it up and get it recognized by the IDE, hopefully Arduino IDE or what on earth it uses? Not really sure. I've just hooked the camera up to it, which is pretty easy. Um, haven't always found that to be easy with some of these camera connections, but that was pretty straightforward. What I might do is try and find the uh, pinout for this one and put it up to the side here and we might talk about it in terms of uh, you know just what's available because there's a lot going on on this board. Very hard to find information on how to program uh, this little module. Apparently it's done in Lua which I'm a language I'm not familiar with at all so that's that's definitely one barrier and if we go to the many sites that are available on AliExpress. Not all of them do this, but some of them actually have some information about how to program it. So I'll just go down to that. Um, here we go. Now, there's a problem in that this is an image. You can't actually copy and paste. So you'd be typing all this sort of stuff in, which is, yeah, a bit of an issue. Um, it also requires you to install their software coming from I don't know where in a language that I don't understand and even using an operating system that I don't use because this appears to be Windows based and I don't use Windows, I use Linux. So it's pretty unlikely that I'm going to learn a new language, Lua, using an operating system that I don't use, Windows, installing software that I don't know <laughs> you know the providence of uh, in a language that I'm not familiar with, just to get this stupid thing to blink. So I'm pretty sure that until something more mature comes along, and probably Arduino IDE based, I'm not going to be using this module. Very sad. So 
So no camera image is coming from this lovely little device. There is uh, obviously an onboard demo with the RGB LEDs. But yeah, very sad that I can't use that one. That is the circuit working for this week. And that's the Dirty Dozen number four. We will see you next time.